Alright, hello guys. Uh, so, um, today we have a full day of van building planned. Today, we're finally gonna do our plumbing. Um, uh, our sink plumbing, not our shower plumbing. That, that's gonna be a whole, whole different story. This pile needs to be put throughout the van or outside the van. So that's kind of what we need to figure out today. Okay, so uh, as many of you would know, this thing has been here for about a year and it's been excellent for random storage. Uh, but uh, we are gonna plumb it up now. So the tap's gonna go here. It's gonna be somewhere along here. Haven't decided where. Probably somewhere up back there, most likely. And essentially, this is what a gooseneck. Yep. And you can essentially point it anywhere you like. And I'm sure all of you would want to point it at the ceiling. Do we know how it's gonna work with a foot pump? No, no we don't. So stick around to find out. And then we need to plumb the water tank and then plumb the wastewater which is here. So I think we should do the grey water line first uh, mm -hmm. because it's warm now and it won't be later. I have some fair amount of, um, uh, I guess, future proofing needs to occur here. Mm. So we have limited amount of space where we can put our uh, shower stuff. So sh yeah. shower plumbing and the filters. Um, mm. So I was thinking one space could be this space. Ooh or underneath the couch. Yeah. Now, ideally, if we can contain all of the plumbing in this section, that'd be pretty cool. So, yeah. we need to try and put this tank there. So this is where the shower is. So we have the wheel arch right there. And uh, that means that between the shower and the wheel arch, we don't have to pinpoint this bracket here, like go in between here, or more reasonably, we should probably try and see if we can drill in this segment here. Uh, I am uh, matching the underneath measurements with the above measurements, and I will try and explain what the hell I'm doing and um, okay so you see those two lines this line mm -hmm. is the edge of this big brace from the underneath of the man from the underneath this line is one of these lines so we're gonna drill from the top and hope that what I just said is true dun, 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 dun. Hi, I see your nose. Yeah. It's uh, quite tucked in, so instead of doing it in uh, this section, we've done it <laughs> in this section. Yes. What's nice is that we actually see it, so it's not underneath this. Yeah, that's what I yes. thought as well. <laughs> yeah. So the next thing that we're going to do is going to connect our wastewater pipe to the sink. Now, what we spent ages searching for is this, something that can connect to the sink's outlet and reduce down to 25 mil or one inch to fit the wastewater pipe. But we did manage to find something, an overflow and hose connector, which is what this is, like one pound 50. This section is 40 millimeter in diameter yep. and the pond, pond stuff are 19. Essentially yes. that, that, that was a key problem. So this bit, Okay. should be able to just screw onto here like so there we are and that can nice and tightly go like so haha -ha. right so i now need to go under the van and pass you up the hose right Ooh, yeah you're through a bit higher got it i got it there we go we are attached and we have put that so it's facing the wall so that way it doesn't take up unnecessary volume on this side. I 
So whilst the um, uh, hole in the floor is uh, drying, because we sprayed it with uh, anti-rust thingy uh, primer. Underbody seal. Yeah. To replace all the rubber we removed. Yeah, so we're going to try and prepare the tank to be mounted on. So this is the uh, grey water tank. So we have the inlet and we have the outlet. So the outlet uh, is a tap, so you can like twist it. And if you need an extension, it's just a normal garden hose connection. Okay, so this is the tank. It has a lid, at least ours does. Now, as recommended by many a people, we're going to flip it like so. So the cap is going to be actually facing down. So any gunk and stuff that gathers up in the in the tank, so any big bits that might clog up the uh, the tap, uh, basically are going to gather up in the cap, and then if, at some point you just undo the cap and you clean it. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing. Uh, second thing, the inlet, so the thing that, that comes from your sink wastewater pipe to the tank comes at the top of the tank, so, uh, so like at top on the side, like top, there. top on the side, yeah. So something like this. Yeah. And the tap goes diagonally. Oh, it doesn't have to be diagonally, but I would prefer to do it diagonally to the other side. And at the bottom. At the bottom. So tap goes bottom corner, and the inlet from the sink goes in the top corner. Okay. Oh, she looks so scared. Kitty cat looks so scared. Right, so for the third hole, it's going to be an emergency drainage hole because what we don't want to happen is the tank fills up and then we pump more water into it and it backs up into our sink and basically floods our kitchen. So we're going to draw a small like 10 mil hole right at the top and leave that open and exposed. That way if the tank ever gets full, it can leak out that hole essentially. That's a normal floor. So we just need to, um, I guess, clean up those edges and then we can screw it in. So we've got this that goes on the outside, this that comes through on the inside. Right. And then put that there and essentially screw that down on the top. I'm just going to get it as tight as I can with my hand and that will be tight enough. There we go. We hope. I hope. I mean I'm not too worried about it leaking because it's going to leak on the outside of the van. You know so if there's a couple of drips it doesn't matter too much because it's not in the van. <laughs> Come on. Just tighten. Ooh, the advantage of not having big muscles. <laughs> okay. Stupid elbows. Okay. Oh, what a glorious British morning, isn't it? Hello. Hello. Good Can morning. You finish opening that. That's a recipe for um, a headache. Right. Not sure what I prefer. Dark or light but wet. But we've got light but wet. So. I prefer dark. Mm. <laughs> right. So, got the tank. Now the buffers on top, I'm sure you're wondering what they're for, is basically to make the tank sit even when we push it up against the van. Because there's a rib in the centre that's lower than all the other ribs. So these two will just make the tank sit flush and also we need a bit more depth because our J bolts run out of thread because they're slightly too long for the tank. So improvised this should work. So now we just bolt this up. Oh we need to cut the steel plate. Oh bother. And drill holes in it. Oh bother. To attach the tank to the underneath of the van we're going to be using these which are called J-bolts. I'll leave a link in the description but essentially they have a hook on one end and we're going to use the existing holes in the chassis to hook these J-bolts on. So there's actually a hole just in here. So we hook that on there 
Then we'll push the tank up and put a steel plate below attaching the two J bolts together and that should strap the tank up against the van. That's all the connections down here done. Okay. The tank is in and not moving. Uh, so everything remaining on the plumbing is on the inside. Yeah, I think you should go wash your face. I think you've touched your face with your dirty hands. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have. It should do, it's a bigger hole than the... Ha! Ta-da! Alright, so we put rubber washer, then metal washer on, then this, and... Okay, rubber washer is compressed, so we need to screw these into the tap, yeah? And the Theoretically? Cold... Huh? Theoretically? Alright, <laughs> so the cold one is the one closest to the back. Yes. Yeah, so I do see... I'm telling you, this is an awkward design. That's that. All right. So we need to connect that to that using nothing but that. <laughs> Hold on. No, no, no. We thought about this. Didn't you mutilate uh, a, f a few of these connections uh, yesterday? You know. Yes, the, yes. Uh, the really scratchy ones. Um, the ones I need to file. These. Literally, <laughs> yes, you're right, because this is the right diameter for this pipe, isn't it? Like, that pipe will fit. We, we can do that. Yes. And okay. that, these screw onto here. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, we thought about it. There you go. And then we just attach the pipe from there to the pump. Excellent. Oh, great. Now, I'm glad we thought about it, though that does need filing, doesn't it? So, cold tap on, and I should be able to pump. You need the primer. There you go. You need air. Yeah, there's a lot of air in the system. Pump. Pump. Pumping. He's shaking the van. Okay, the problem is that the pipe is uh, curling, <laughs> okay? So mm. when it's all the way in, it actually does a spiral. So if I just hold it so it's in the water, yeah, make sure that it's, like, the exit is actually in the water. You can see it here, it's in the water now. Oh yeah, all right, pump. Go, pump, there you go. Yeah. Excellent. Obviously the van's on the slant. Now we just need to do so without holding the pipe. Yeah, I need to get the pipe to the bottom of the tank. We've solved the looping problem. Copper pipe. I'm just going to put a length of copper pipe in the tube, in the tank, and then just attach the tube on top. So this sink plumbing system consists of um, standard kitchen 40mm PIX piping, copper 15mm piping, and standard garden hose piping and I guess pond waste piping. I have no idea what I'm doing piping, but might I point out that now that the copper pipe is in, I can just simply 
That's nice. Can I use my sink? Ah, I sink! Mean, what the? Honestly, the Magic. screen is... Magic! <laughs> no, it's called science and plumbing. I mean... Whatever, you know it's a sink. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would take electrics over plumbing any day, but still. And for a foot pump, the stream is pretty strong. Isn't it? The thing is, yeah, this is supposed to have two settings. I have no idea how to switch them. I don't know. Try. Oh, I just did it. There you go. Look. Just... Hold on. It's just this. Okay, so this is shower. Yeah, that's the other one. Shower. Central. Excellent. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. That's working. So now, um, I guess we just need to um, Cut our access our food. foot pump without opening the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was just thinking, um, like, what is it? A, a, a mouse cubby hole? Just a, an arch? And we'll just yeah. stick our foot through it. I declare this foot pump open. difficulty <laughs> with the <a> show curtains <laughs> <laughs> it does look like a mouse hole exactly like a mouse hole oh that's uh, wonderful oh whatever <laughs> there you go we have a we have a functioning sink guys we can now go and wash our hair without the the tub first plumbing stage over Finally, I can stop telling people that as soon as we have the plumbing done, we'll be able to go on bigger trips. Now we can go on bigger trips. We can take a shower in the sink, we can wash up, we can drain our pasta. We can drain our pasta, that's very, very important. You know, I don't think you, sometimes, I don't think you appreciate how much a sink actually helps make a home homely. Like, you can just pour stuff. Because you can out. just throw stuff. I know. It's like a bin, but for water. Yeah. <laughs> And look how modern we're looking. Look, look at our nice backsplash. Very sort of uh, stylistic here with a nice chrome tap that does weird stuff. And then a nice stainless steel sink. Honestly. Okay, so a uh, very, very luxurious house we have here. So yeah, see, uh, see you next week. Um, if you don't think we're too weird for that. What are we uh, doing next week? Anything? No idea. No, I don't know. Check the board. <laughs> <laughs>